So, six days ago, Rip Curl Readiness 8777 had said to me, I would wait till October to put the tires on. And I was like, hmm, he's got a point. Because I do have a little bit of tread on my tires right now. I really don't need to put these on right now. But I hate getting flats. I hate changing flats on state highways. And I like to have every form of protection there is because that's just what a prepper is. So I decided, you know, I'm going to take his advice. So I took these, moved them down to the bunker, and I've got them underneath my workstation. And they are going to sit there now until October. I don't know, maybe I should flip them over in a couple months. But uh, I do smell rubber, and that's about it. Here's a cool gadget you guys might want to see. Look at that thing. See those boat colors? I got plans for those. But we'll come back to those later. So the tires are in the bunker waiting for October. You know, sometimes I love it when I make videos. And I love my subscribers. I really do. I put together this belt system, an all blackout system, and I had a ton of stuff on it. I had my um, multi tool, I had my Swiss Army knife, I had my gun, double clips. I mean, just. <laughs> and somebody actually wrote in my comment section and said, can you make a video while you're wearing all that, please? And I was thinking, yeah, I can do that. It's not a big deal. Not thinking anything of it. And, uh, oh, my God. I spent an hour and a half to try and prove him wrong by trying to put everything on that belt. Oh, my God, my belt was heavy. <laughs> I would have been walking like a cowboy. I really needed a battle belt to carry that much stuff. So... Here's what I've done, and I, I, I do it with reluctance, is what I do. So, I got up this everyday carry, finally put it all together, and obviously what I have is this. Obviously my firearm, this was actually brown, I actually dyed it black and shined it up. So I got my holster on my right side. I have my clips on my left side. So that balances everything out, right? This is my wallet. I got, I'm not going to open it because you'll see everything, but I got this off eBay. I particularly like these wallets. I don't, my original one was brown. It was like eight years old, but I like the ones that zip all the way around. Call me old fashioned, but I don't want it, anything falling out. And that's very much why I like it. So this goes in my pocket, right? This isn't even on my belt. This goes on my wrist. This goes on my belt so I can hang my keys off if I choose. That little item. Okay. This goes in my other pocket so I got a knife at hand. This goes in my pocket, which is basically just a good pen light. This will actually go here or someplace on me. So, so far, the only thing I've got on my belt is gun, magazines, keys. I will add my Swiss Army knife. That is it. And when I put that on my belt, it feels good. My pants ain't falling down. <laughs> and I'm not trying to carry all kinds of stuff. So that is really, really cool. Now let me show you something else. So what happened? I went to the medical kit. You remember I had the medical kit, right? Well, my tourniquets are carried on the medical kit for now on. Nothing I can do about it. There's just so much room on your belt, and that's it. And I really wanted to carry them on there. Now, in here, I got a knife pack. I've got an emergency blanket. I've got chest seals. I mean, I've got everything from gauze to you name it um, to take care of a gun. And chances are, if I see it, that's, that person has a very good chance, and I have a very good chance. The other thing I have on this is this thing. This is a clip, which allows me to clip on the camera. So, the way things are nowadays, um, when I get out of my vehicle, it doesn't matter where I go. I have a camera on me or a camera in the truck or wherever I go. And uh, I hit record. I've even done videos of me walking through Walmart with it. It was with an actual bag. And um, it's just you need video. If I had to go into a situation and take care of a gunshot wound or something, it takes less than two seconds to hit that red start button. And at least then... You're recording the situation and you're not 
having somebody say you did something you didn't do. Every one of these tourniquets have scissors. They have a pen light. They have a glass breaker. Um, these are certified. Um, these are certified cats, as you can see there by the writing, and uh, they are staged. But um, most people don't, and I want to talk about that. I've probably been banned from 32 YouTube channels. Maybe more. I have a problem. I need to just shut my mouth, and when I go to a YouTube channel, I need to type, oh, that's wonderful. That is such a good layout. And that's what I love about my subs. They don't do that. You know, they, they the one guy did it with my tires. The other people did it about what I was wearing on my belt. I mean, they help. And I find that very, very nice. But not people out there. I have people call me condescending. People call me an asshole. Um, I'm, and I've never called them a name. I've never insulted them. I've never put them down. Um, there was one guy specific video. I took a screen capture of it. And where I stated that tourniquet is not staged. I could tell it wasn't staged. And he felt he had to sit back and act like he was all pissed off at me because I told him it wasn't staged. Why would he care? Why wouldn't he say thank you? I never thought of that and go learn how to do it. And I noticed it's the generation in their 30s. Like I'm in my 60s, but it's the generation in their 30s that are like this. They seem to think they're a know-it-all, but they know nothing. And I think the majority of them never even had fathers to teach them. So we got a whole generation coming up after me that are really messed up. You know, one guy was using a rat tourniquet, and that's a thin rubber. And when you actually Google a rat tourniquet, they have actually established a rat tourniquet is horrible to use. It actually can open the wound worse and actually kill the person. Now, this person was only using the rat tourniquet because it looked cool. He liked the color. He had this, you know, like I got the blackout. He had, it looked cool. He wasn't using it to learn how to be proficient with what he was using. He wasn't using it to learn how to be good at what he was using. He was just there to look cool. It blew my mind away. I came across this other woman that had five subs. Uh, she's trying to run, looks like, pure advertising and links to Amazon and nothing more. It talked about a medical kit. It had a tourniquet in it. It had some other items in it. She did not have it staged. It was not a proper tourniquet. It was a China tourniquet. Everything in that first aid kit was China garbage. I think there was two things that were good in it. You know, when it comes to medical, when it comes to anything that's supposed to save our lives, there needs to be rules. And this applies to everything in our life obviously needs to be changed with rules. Now, I don't mean in a way where the government's controlling us, but I mean in the way of these companies that are taking advantage of loopholes to try and make money and put our lives in danger. And it's just wrong. I mean, it goes all the way down to our food, all the way up to our medical supplies, all the way, it, it's up and down everywhere. I mean, you literally need a scholar degree just to figure all this out. I mean, when you turn around and you think about, okay, I'm going to go buy myself a gun, right? This is what I'm going to buy myself. Now, I'm going to go buy myself a gun, okay? Well, the way it's gotten in the U.S. is I have to go and research who made that slide, who made that handle. Who made that trigger? How much pressure was there? How much was that sight? Who made this? Who made that? Who made the screws? Who made the rivets? This is what I got to go through when I want to buy something. Why? Even with camping, even with some of the gear I buy, it, it's so frustrating. It really is. And we need 
we need not only rules and laws, but we need very, very high penalties. Because corporations don't give a shit about you or me. And that's all there is to it. You take California, for example, they grow um, avocados and all kinds of different other things there. They will actually bring bees in from another country. It will actually make the fruit and vegetables do what they got to do. Then they use a chemical that kills everything in the soil, kills the bees, kills everything. So there is nothing there that can hurt those avocados. And now those avocados will come to the store and they will be perfect. One problem. The chemical they use to kill all those bugs and everything that was part of nature is now inside that avocado, which you end up turning around eating. Thus, they had a big thing going with Cheerios. They had it because Cheerios, it came from some of that stuff that came from that farm. They didn't care. And this is on a level with everything. You go as far back as even the stuff we use for medical, you take all the tourniquets. Go look on Amazon. There is hundreds of different tourniquets. Go look at them. $10, $5, $20. They are all competing. I have no problem with that. But there should be a set of tests that they must perform and prove on video that is approved by another committee that says they can sell that tourniquet. And everybody has to approve to it. They have to do the same thing. So put it around a pipe, wrap it till it breaks, do this, do that. Actually make sure that damn thing's not going to break. But instead, they don't have to do that. They can come from China, the ones that are trying to kill us and hack into our servers, and they can turn around and sell them for 10 bucks a piece. Well, of course they wouldn't want to help us. Oh, you want a tourniquet? We got one here. Oh, it broke. The poor American's going to die. <laughs> we never thought, we never planned that. Come on. Really? And the Americans over there said, you think maybe we should do something about that? I've come to the conclusion we are on our own. And that's all there is to it. We are completely on our own. And you better take your time. You better go slow when you actually start doing something. Because everybody out there is to get you. Nobody's out there to be your friend. Now, when you get the odd one that comes on YouTube, like I did with my tires or some other ones actually pointing things out, you better pay attention to them because they're very far and in between. But if you're going to jump on somebody for no reason at all because you're just a stupid person, then you deserve what you get. Because when you go to use that rat tourniquet or you go to use something that's not productive or it's not made properly and you go to rescue that person and that person happens to be your kid or it happens to be you, and your kid bleeds out and dies because of your stupidity. Because you didn't want to listen to that guy in the comment section who was trying to tell you something. As my mama used to say, you made your bed, now you go lay in it. And you got nobody else to blame. My daddy used to say, there are two ways of doing things. The right way and the wrong way. These old sayings have been around for years. My parents pounded them into my head. And maybe I had an average, decent upbringing, but I automatically started thinking everybody was the same and everybody's not the same. People that don't have fathers basically have turned out to be a bunch of pussies. People that don't have any respect for other people have turned out to be assholes. We have a very confused society that has lost everything. And if we want that society to come back and we want things to change... They better go back to the rules of what it used to be back in the 1960s because it's not going to change. we got a bunch of lazy assholes that don't want to work. And a lot of people are dying for no reason at all. Anyhow, that's my setup. <laughs> kind of weird there, but... Um, the people that did uh, comment in my section, I really appreciate it and want to say thank you. Catch you guys on the next one.